welcome back to another video. So to just kick off this whole isolation with coronavirus and all of that going on, I thought we'd start off the videos with a nice simple Q&A. I posted a story a couple of days ago asking you guys for some questions you want to ask me. So today we're going to be answering those questions and we'll just see how it goes. First of all I want to start and say that with all of this going on guys please stay at home. I'm still working all the way through this not only with YouTube but with my actual day to day job working in social care. So please for my sake, for everyone's sake, for all the people that I look after on a daily basis stay at home. Now this whole coronavirus shouldn't affect me at all and we're still going to be getting some complete bangers out there and there will be some pranks due to boredom of being at home on my days off. So the first question is something that you guys have been asking for such a long time but I keep avoiding the question because it's such a long story. Where did you and Lewis meet? We actually met through some mutual friends that are actually featured in Lewis's videos a couple of years ago. But I was good friends with them, so was Lewis. For some reason, I don't know why, we didn't meet for quite a while. I met him while he was actually with his previous girlfriend. I had no interest in him whatsoever, I want to make that one clear. A couple of months later, I met him at a party and I thought he was still with his girlfriend and he was getting all flirty and I was thinking, what is this kid doing? He's got a girlfriend, he's crazy. Turns out he didn't have a girlfriend and the rest of it is history. When will you have merch? Well, I've literally been doing this YouTube stuff for, what, a couple of months now? So I think it's getting ahead of myself with merch, but I must admit I'm quite interested in Lewis's merch, which by the way, you guys need to go and get. I'll put a link in the description that's going to be going in a couple of weeks. All of that is going to be going soon and we're going to be creating something new and hopefully I will be helping him create that with designing it and everything. So you never know, with the experience of that it could it could happen but I wouldn't say anytime soon. Will you ever do a meet and greet? Um, hopefully one day, maybe while, when all of this has blown over, maybe, oh no Lewis. Um, I hope so one day to be able to do this and I know that Lewis has been thinking about doing a meet and greet which most likely I'm going to end up tagging along to anyway so that could be sort of the start of it but like I said I haven't been doing this for too long. Oh my god please stop calling me. What and who inspires you? There isn't a... I mean, I don't really know, I, to be honest, I know it sounds really dull, but I don't really have many people that inspire me. I mean, there's things that people do and it's like, oh, I want to do that, but as for YouTube, I'm just doing my own thing and just seeing how it goes. I am quite new to all of this, so inspiration-wise, I think I just sort of use my past experiences as inspiration to better myself. Does that make sense? I don't think it does. Do you remember me? It's banana bread guy. Okay, so this guy said he's gonna send me banana bread, but I still ain't got it. So if you're watching this, where the hell is it? It's some fans who's gonna send me banana bread. Banana bread is like the best thing. You comment down below what your favourite cakes are. Lewis hates bananas. I love bananas. Banana bread is the best thing. It reminds me of my childhood, the best thing ever. So come on, like man, where's my banana bread? Why did you start YouTube? This was Actually, me and Lewis have been together for quite a long time now, um, as you guys probably don't even know that because when we first got together, I was in his videos and everything like that. If you go way back into his vlogging channel, I'll be in them. And then loads of shit went on in my life and I just said I don't really want to be in the public eye right now. I didn't really use Instagram for like a year or so, I just wasn't really doing anything because I had so much stuff going on. <laughs> Personal stuff that I'm not going to explain. I just sort of shut myself off from the world and with all that, Lewis just said to me, your confidence has gone down so much in yourself, in life in general, and he actually persuaded me to start a YouTube channel. It took a lot of persuasion, but I'm so grateful that I've done it. I'm so grateful for him, if you're watching this Lewis, I'm so grateful for you for actually convincing me to this because my confidence has suddenly gone up. I've never been a confident person in anything. I've never been a confident person on camera. I'm quite a socially awkward person. This is hopefully, it's helping already, so I'm hoping that one day I'll be like 
max confidence. But that that's basically why I started YouTube. And I'm not gonna lie, at the beginning, I wasn't really as interested in it as I should have been, but I think that was also a confidence thing, and now I'm actually really enjoying it, so I'm hoping you guys can see that in my more recent videos, and I'm reaching up to your standards. <laughs> Do you want children? If so, how many? As a kid, I never wanted to ever have children, I mean, not to have children as a kid, I mean, as a, like, I could never imagine myself having a family, but now, hopefully one day, but I want to be stable, I want to be financially stable, I want to be able to have my own house that I actually own, I don't rent, and be in a happy relationship, and I'm sure a lot of you can appreciate that who have also come from homes where their parents are together, so that is my aim, so it won't be happening anytime soon, I want to be settled and sure that I want to have kids, but if accidents happen, accidents happen, but you know what I mean. How are you Daisy doing today? Does that make sense? How are you Daisy doing today? Or is it, should it, should it be, how are you doing today Daisy? Either way, I'm good, I'm alright, I'm, I'm chill, I'm bored out of my mind during isolation, but other than that. Have you two done anything bad on purpose? By the way, I love your vids. Well, first of all, thank you. I appreciate that you love my vids, but anything bad on purpose? Well, does going into the abandoned buildings count? Because obviously we're not allowed to. Uh, does that count? If so, then that, I suppose, as us as a couple doing something bad. Is that bad? It's not really that bad. I don't really know. <laughs> Will I start to be in more of Lewis's videos? Well, it's a bit difficult because of how different our videos are, but if he starts up his vlogging channel, then yeah, if you watch the McBang that we did, then you'll know that we're actually considering, hopefully in the summer, if things aren't as crazy as they are now, we will be doing a joint channel and making Lewis's Life of Lewis channel into our channel to do like, couples stuff. I, will try. I really hope it's not going to be cringy. <laughs> what made you start YouTube and would you say it affected your life? Well, I've already explained why I started it and it affected my life I mean yeah quite a bit because for my normal job I do do long hours I start at 7 in the morning until 7 30 at night so it's quite difficult because then you finish work because of a 12 hour shift to come home and then think I can't just go to bed I've got to edit I've got to film a video and all of that which quite a few times we've had to do so yeah, it definitely has affected my life, for the good and for the bad, like I said, it's made me a more confident person in myself. So if anyone who does have issues, actually, of being not confident and not feeling good about yourself, YouTube, just start it, and if anyone gives you shit, laugh about it, that's what I do. I mean, you say that I'm ugly, hilarious mate, do you know what I mean, like, it's, it's, life's too short to get hooked up about things like that. But other than that, yeah, it can be quite stressful, on a serious note. <laughs> it can be quite stressful trying to get a video out to that point when you've also got personal things going on in your life as well. And being on camera and say you just had a really shit day at work or you've just been told bad news but you've still got to get a video out for that week. I don't want to let you guys down, which I actually already have once. So, sorry about that, but... I'm still getting the swing of things, so yeah, it is difficult to put a face on and everything like that, but other than that, it does have its perks and its cons. Is that, is that the right word? Oh, I don't even know, man. I'm going out of my mind sitting here doing nothing for two days and my day's off. <laughs> Will you start putting more videos up, like a couple more during the week? Yeah, I've been thinking about doing it for a while, putting two up a week instead of one a week. As soon as we hit 3,000 subscribers, so if you want that to happen, get your friends, get your family, get everyone you know to subscribe to my channel and you will be getting two videos a week. We are so close. I can see with all the support you guys are giving and it's absolutely incredible and I just want to say thank you for that. And yeah, as soon as we hit 3k, man, it will be two videos a week and it will benefit us all. So there we go. So this one's a bit slightly bit more deep so how would you deal with bullying and how are you so confident it's crazy to think that people think i'm confident now i never used to be at all and another person i can think of you youtube has affected them in that way is alex lou 
I have known Alex since we were like 14 years old and he was like the little kid that would just be so quiet. <laughs> now I can't get him to bloody shut up, we've been best mates since we were 14 and he's a completely different person, I love him for it. Honestly, just getting yourself out there and just not giving a shit about what other people think, it's made me a better person. And how to deal with bullying, believe it or not, I mean, I don't know why. <laughs> You guys can answer that one. I actually used to get bullied. Lots of people that I know got bullied. And you just gotta remember that it will, it's not, it's not, you're not gonna get bullied for a lifetime. It's just, it's usually while you're at school. I mean, immaturity of why people do it. And you just gotta remember it's only temporary. And try not to let what anyone's saying to you or doing to you, just don't let it affect you because that's what they want, they want attention from it because those sad little kids that have their own issues and want attention from you, that is all it is so just don't let it affect you and hopefully my videos will cheer you up, I hope I don't know, maybe, I don't know I don't think I'm actually that funny so <laughs> Have you been to Spain? That's a random one, but yeah not recently, I'm not sick <coughs> I actually have family out in Spain so we do go out there quite often but not recently while all this is going on do you still vape? I actually still have both of my vapes. I actually still have my first ever vape, which was just a simple smock stick. If anyone wants that, please just take it off my hands. I have too much stuff. And I still have all of my liquid, so much of that, but they're both broken and I need to get them fixed. And obviously with all this going on, it's gonna be a bit difficult. The answer to that question, kinda. Like if anyone has a vape on them, I will, I will use it, but I'm hoping to get mine fixed soon. Who is the better driver? Okay, I'm gonna put my hands up to this one and say Lewis because he's never crashed a car. Yeah, he's a better driver. People literally say that I'm cursed when it comes to cars. Someone's gone into the back of my car when I've been parked. I rode my first car on black ice. A deer actually ran into my car once, which was absolutely bloody terrifying. And there's also been accidents in other people's cars while I've been in the car. So, but never Lewis is driving, so I've gotta say, in this relationship, if that's who you're asking, he is the better driver, unfortunately. If you could date anyone, who would it be and why? I'm sort of already dating with someone. Sorry. <laughs> I don't really... I don't know how to answer that. Anyway guys, that is the end of today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment any ideas or anything you want to see in my future content. And don't forget, as soon as we hit 3,000 subscribers, I'll be doing double uploads for the rest of eternity. Get your friends to subscribe, get your mum, your dad, anyone to subscribe to my channel and carry on supporting and doing what you guys are doing best and I appreciate that so much. My Instagram will be down in the description and yeah, I'll see you guys, well, maybe in a few days, maybe next week. See you later, bye! I use storyvoter.com, grow safely faster than ever. Is someone really trying to promote themselves on this?